Let's go. We're finally back on our Carolina Panthers franchise, which obviously it's been kind of tough. The last game that we played against the Bengals, it ended up being a four sim because we couldn't end up getting a uh, game in. So when it was a fair sim, I ended up actually just losing that game because it was a fair sim. But yeah, we lost that last game due to a fair sim. So obviously we got to turn around here. We've got another divisional game with the Atlanta Falcons. We get them at home this time. And he's ready. I don't really have much to say. We've seen him already once this year, so let's just hop right into this game. Sorry for the quick intro. My opponent was ready, and he's been waiting on me for a minute because I am in the middle of doing a fantasy basketball draft too. So I'm trying to do both things at once, trying to juggle both. But look at the field position we got though off the ki opening kick return. So um, nothing's going to be open. Going to have to eat a sack. Not what you want to do first play. Second and 16, we ate a sack there on the first play. We gotta find the way to get something here. Just gonna dump it here off to Trimble. Try to get us into a spot where we can maybe get this third down. Ah, uh, he's got press man. I think Robbie Anderson can beat his man. I, I believe in him. I actually believe in him. He's got him toasted. He's got him torched. AJ Terrell makes a great play. Got a punt. With a couple of games that have had to been fair sims or whatever, we of course got to come out and find a way to win this game because we can't dig ourselves a hole. I'm a little nervous with a couple fair sim losses that we've gotten, to be honest. I just, I don't know. The division's way too close, and I feel like it, with how the NFC's stacking up, we're going to have to win our division to even get into the playoffs. Okay, we need a big stop here. He's going to be running the ball this play, I'm calling it. Yep. And I can't get there. He's taking a little bit more of a conservative approach, which I respect. Come down here, get back across. Nope, nothing's open. Nothing's open! Ah, gotta get off the field here. And he's right on like the edge of field goal range too. So if we can maybe clutch up and get a sack, that would be absolutely amazing. And come across. Let's go, Jeremy Chin. No sack needed, so we're gonna go ahead and get a pick. And let's go. Jeremy Chin's having a great year. Let's settle down a little bit. It's a Thursday night primetime game, and we had a very bad first offensive drive. Let's just calm down. And let's just come out here and try to move the ball, and that's not going to happen like that. I really do feel like this is a drive where we got to find a way to put on points and just kind of take advantage of our opponent. And Robbie Anderson is going to make a great play. Oh, man. We might have a very low-scoring game here. I should be able to hit Terrace Marshall, our playmaker right there. And he moved the sticks. Let's go. Icky Kwanu has an ability on him. I did not notice that he got one ever, but that's a massive dub for us. Gonna need to remind myself after this game to uh, activate his ability and put something else other than maybe Nasty Streak on him, but I'm not sure. Ooh, that's Terrace Marshall. He's got him toasted. He's got him toasted! And he does not. This is not the way I wanted to start this game. And it's just, it's very sloppy, and I, I don't know. We gotta find a way to get a dub, though. Terrence Marshall, can he come back to the ball? Yes, he can. And I don't know if we're in field goal range, though. Probably isn't the best of ideas, because it might be a little far, but we're going to try it anyways. I don't know if I made that. Let's go. We got points on the board. Very, very slow start for us on the offensive side of the ball. And I think it's been a slow start for our opponent, too. I mean, this game can definitely go one either way, and that's a great route there by Cordero Patterson. I am going to give this Falcon pl Falcons player some props because he has made some significant adjustments since the last time we played, but we've got to come out, and we got to step up and get some stops. Definitely expecting him to go for another quick read here. I feel like in these situations, he likes to throw the ball quick and short. I just, I don't know. I don't feel like he looks down the field that all that much in Jeremy Chin. Look at that. Another pick in this one. He's going to return to the house. I don't think Drake London can catch us. And he is not going to. And Jeremy Chin gets himself a pick six. I feel like we really got him where we wanted him. This is kind of how the last time we played him went. He got down early and we were forced him to do a lot of picks. So if we can do that again this game and just get out of here with a dub, I'm A-OK -okay with it. Because at the end of the day, I really don't care how we win. I just care that we do win. At some point, I want to win a Super Bowl with this team. I don't know if we're Super Bowl ready yet this year. I don't believe we are. But this defense is playing like a Super Bowl caliber team. Try to put man coverage on Zatuous here. Just try to take away those quick reads from him. Oh, let's go! Jeremy Chin gets another one! Oh, this dude is insane! I don't know how to feel right now. 
But, man, I am so happy with Jeremy. I'm trying AJ Terrell again with Robbie Anderson. And I would have been a pick. Yeah, I mean, we're up 10. I don't want to be, like, super conservative. But I kind of want to be conservative in a way. Because I want to at least get points. Like, if he's coming out in three-man fronts, I feel like i got to feed McCaffrey and just get him going. Because at the end of the day, we just want to win. I feel like he's a man. I'm going to go ahead and put him on a Texas route under the assumption that he is in man coverage once again. And he is, but he's going to play that well. Get rid of it. We're just going to go ahead and take our three. Man, we can't get going on offense. I feel like right now, he's probably going to be a little more aggressive passing the ball because he's got to find a way to get points. But he's definitely not out of this game, though, because we haven't been all that successful on offense. We're really having to take our three every single time. Not too sure how I feel about this, but I'm just going to go ahead and play hard flats. I'm going to sell out because I don't think he's going to look down the field. He hasn't looked down the field all game, I feel like. If he beats me, he beats me. Come over. We got to be happy about that. We got 50 seconds to try to click. What? He missed that? Okay, then. Okay, we got 48 seconds to get something clicking on offense. I just, I don't know. I feel like we've been really missing a beat. And that's got to be Tommy Trimble up over top. Man, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like I'm not seeing the field right now. Got to move the ball. I'm so locked into trying to move the ball. Oh, yeah, that's DJ Moore. That's DJ Moore. Get him involved. Let's go. This offense, maybe we're going to click here in the second half. Let's keep it going. Our offense has barely been on the field because our defense is playing great. But, hey, I'm not upset with it whatsoever because defense wins championships. See, this is, like, honestly very toxic, this uh, momentum thing. Like, just being able to see a main receiver's route. Now, granted, I don't know exactly what he's going to be running, like, play-wise. But when you get into some of these people who like to run, like, four verts or, like, just common routes or whatever. You know exactly what the play is if you play Madden enough. That's the only reason why I think it's very toxic. But to be fair, I don't think it's all that toxic. I'm going to go ahead and bring the safety down. I want to test him a little bit in man here. I feel like we haven't done that at all. He's going to be looking probably for this drag route, but I don't really want to press because... Ooh, never mind. He changed auto-bolted it to a streak. Interesting. We're going to get toasted. Let's try to go ahead and keep him out of field goal range because, you know, I would like to stack up the shutouts here for our defense because they have definitely earned it. They are playing out of their minds right now. Oh, Shaq Thompson. I feel like he's really playing a different scheme and it's a little bit throwing me off. Like, it's a bunch of streaks and drags. Are... Oh, Jeremy Chin was trying to step up and get himself one more. This game is definitely still nowhere near being over, so we have got to keep him out of the end zone. This is the perfect time. To maybe get another interception is what I'm hearing. Let's see. Come back across. That's guarded. Let's go! Ah, Littleton. I'm so close to getting one more. I don't want to give up three. I selfishly want to shut up. Um, come across. Throw it. Strip sack. Ah, he got down just in time. I feel like we just need one more play to really just kind of put this game away. And get him down. Let's go. Keep him out of the end zone. Man, this team, we have taken some massive strides this season. But he's going to go ahead and get six as I'm saying that. Going to end up probably taking a very conservative approach to this half. Just for the fact of, I just want to put this away and find a way to win. We just really need to be smart with the ball. And just move the chains. Take some time off the clock. You know, typical things. Oh, that's DJ Moore right across the middle. And I say I'm going to be, oh my, he made that play. He should have jumped that. Not going to act like I'm totally proud of that read there, but it worked out. So we need to not be upset whatsoever. I know i got to be better. That's Terrace Marshall. Get him the rock as much as we can. Just keep developing him. I really want to get DJ Moore the ball even more and more throughout this season because I really am going to need him to step up later in the year. And look at that. I, he comes! Oh, I probably wouldn't have scored either way. But let's go, DJ Moore. You know what? You guys have definitely probably already seen the title of this video, but I'm just going to call it now. This is going to be DJ Moore's breakout game. And we're going to go ahead and hit him there for... Let's just not talk about that last play. Let's just run it back. There we go. DJ Moore's breakout game. Like I said, I should just cut out the last play, to be honest. At this point, defensively, obviously we want to stat... Whoa, he's got a wheel route there with Cordero. He's probably going to look there. Get him down. Can we get a strip sack? Maybe? Ah, could not get there in time. 
If you guys made it this far in this video, comment down below on who you think the Super Bowl winner is going to be in real life. And if you want to, give a prediction for this league too, because I'm curious on what you guys think. For real life, I'm definitely going to go ahead and say the Eagles and four in game. Going to have to say the Panthers, but there's a couple other teams that I know are some comp. You'll probably hear me talk about like the Eagles in real life in a couple more videos. I am very high on the Eagles in real life. Just, oh, I did not think he'd throw that. Okay, so he put him on a streak, so I definitely think he's going to be looking there to throw it. He's not going to throw it. <laughs> Look at that. We're going to get another sack. Come on, boys. I do want to say, though, I really want to get Derrick Brown going. I feel like he's had a real quiet season, and I feel like he thinks he thought, saw something here with the streak. I'm going to go ahead and take that, come back down, go back up. I think I just got a pass interference, didn't I? Wait, no, the legal forward pass. Well, we're going to accept that. Now, I did just say we needed one more big play to kind of end this game. I feel like right now is that big play. It's 4th and 14, and he's in an obvious going for it situation. And that's going to be another illegal forward pass. Wouldn't mind giving the ball here to McCaffrey. Maybe trying to see if he can get a touchdown. But if we can't get anything going with McCaffrey, I might just keep feeding DJ Moore. I think it's time for DJ Moore to have himself his breakout game. He deserves it. And I'm going to end up throwing a pick here because I'm trying to get DJ Moore a touchdown. But you know what? I think it's worth it. We're not going to. Let's go. Three touchdowns for DJ Moore. We do have our bye week in, within the next couple weeks. And to be honest, I think we're very desperate for it because the stamina on every single one of our players, they're all getting really tired. It's obviously been a long season. And they're all playing great. Franklin gets himself a pick too. Can we get some blocks though? Um, Actually, I just gave up a touchdown, didn't I? I really thought that uh, Xavier Woods was going to catch that, but... Well, that's what happens when you get a little greedy. I thought that I would be able to possibly get an interception return there. Come back down, Jeremy Chin, never mind. Chin just wants himself another pick six, and I'm not upset with it. I want to get Chin to an X-Factor. I'm telling you, this thing where you can see your opponent's routes is honestly really helping us out here. Maybe oh, I'm trying to just keep fishing out turnovers right now. It looks like you just flip the play again, or flip the play of this play. So obviously, gonna go ahead and look for drag routes again because I feel like this dude's kind of the king of the drag route. Step down. Oh, I bailed out because I really didn't think he'd throw that. Well, he's got a deep post over there, and I'm expecting him to throw his tight end on a drag route. Yep, right over here. Never mind, he threw the deep post. Dante Jackson gets one too. Come on. I slightly want to stat pad a little bit for DJ Moore, but. I've got to be careful because I don't want to throw a bunch of picks for absolutely no reason. And I probably should have thrown one there, I feel like. But DJ Moore, keep going, boy. Okay. Um, I feel like he's going to be expecting me to just paint the seam again here with DJ Moore. So right there. Nice, easy drag route. Just go ahead and get the first down. I will admit, I might be stat padding a little bit with DJ Moore, but we've got to get him going at some point. Oh, I could have hit Robbie Anderson, but no, we got DJ Moore. Can he get a fourth touchdown? He was short. I'd really love to get DJ Moore his fourth touchdown here, and he's not going to be open, so I'm going to have to roll out. And back corner of the end zone, Tommy Trimble. He can't get his feet in. I'm going to sell out a little bit. And I'm sorry, DJ Moore, but let's just get Baker a rushing TD, stat his pads a little bit. Coming out on five wide here, obviously, still going to come out and play conservative. Don't want to give up a cheap touchdown here late. Come back down. Ooh, and I just gave up a cheap touchdown, didn't I? Because I have apparently a pad user. I accidentally switched on and ran away. Here in hurry up offense, so we're going to obviously just kind of assume that it's going to be the same play here once again. Come back up with Jeremy Chin. Nothing's going to be there. Can I get over there? I cannot get him down. I don't want to give up another touchdown here before the game's over. He ran hurry up offense once again. I'm honestly sweating probably a little too much here for this late in the game. And look at that. Brian Burns is stepping up. This would really be awesome to hold him out of the end zone here. A division rival. Come on, get him down. Whoa. Oh, I am sweating way too hard for being up 40 points right now. But I really just don't want to give up another touchdown. We did. Ah, uh, we couldn't get him down. Gonna go for two here. Maybe we can uh, pick off one of these drag routes and take it for six, maybe? Uh, CJ Anderson was there, but Cordero Patterson was also there. Give me time in the pocket, boys. Come on, DJ Moore. Come on, DJ Moore. Go get yourself another one. Go get yourself another one! Can he get the I can get six, but hey. I think he might have gotten over 200 yards. Let's go. That's the type of game that you really want against a division rival. And 
as you can see here, I finally just didn't play dumb. I had no picks. And obviously, typically when I force the ball to some players, I throw multiple interceptions. Now, I will say the start of this game, we did start off very slow. Obviously, as you guys can see, couldn't get McCaffrey going once again. We've got to figure out a way to establish this run game. But receiving-wise, DJ Moore, nine receptions, 239, and three touchdowns. He finally breaks out. Terrence Marshall got a couple catches for 30 yards. He was pretty quiet this game. And, I mean, I don't even think anyone... Yeah, Robbie Anderson, McCaffrey. So, receiving-wise, we really didn't do a whole bunch. But DJ Moore absolutely carried our offense today. And that's something that we're going to need from him because he is our best wide receiver. We're going to need him down the stretch. And if we can make it into the playoffs. Interception-wise... Jeremy Chin, the best user in the game. He's got to be getting close to getting to an upgrade for abilities, I would think. Now, as you guys can see, the two games that we beat the Falcons, we outscored them 95-15. to That's exactly what you want to do to a division rival. And, hey, I'm very excited for that. Now, granted, like I said earlier, we couldn't play the Bengals. We just couldn't really find a time to match up and play. So it ended up being a fair sim. We lost that. Kind of the same thing with the Buccaneers. But... We've got to make sure we lock in here. We've got the Ravens, and I think we can beat the Broncos. The Ravens are going to be a big test, though, due to the fact, obviously, it's Lamar Jackson. But then we go into our bye week, which I think is very much needed. And I think these three games out of the bye week, in my opinion, are all very winnable games. And then, obviously, we've got two more here against our two of our division rivals. But, hey, this team is playing out of their minds. Throughout the rest of the season, we've definitely got to lock in and if you look at the division, there's no winner yet. After this week, though, we should take the lead in the division, which is obviously a good thing. But, hey, got to keep winning. Got to keep putting our foot on the gas pedal. I would love to try to get to 9-4 and four because that would make me feel great. But, hey, this season is nowhere near over, and we're trying to still make the playoffs here. So, I don't know if there's really much else to say, though, other than uh, I'll catch you guys next time.